guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a review and swatches on the new BH cosmetics Lux lacquer vivid color lipsticks yes these just came out I think like a week ago and I kind of stalked BH cosmetics page for a little while until I was able to get my hands on them I ordered eight colors in total um, I didn't order every color I think they have like 12 colors I didn't order all 12 of them because I think the last four were colors that look pretty similar to the ones that I already have and they were just kind of bright colors that I probably would never wear but I got eight out of the 12 I believe so I'm going to show you guys how they look on brown skin how they swatch the formula and how opaque they are so I'm going to be right off the package first it says this pigment packed Lux Lacquer polishes lips to perfection with glamorous, gleaming, super hydrating color that glides on ultra creamy with a dazzling finish. So that's what it says on the package of each one of these. I didn't take them out of the boxes yet because the pack, the actual tube of um, lip gloss doesn't have the name on it. And I wanted to make sure that I give you the names of each one. So I'm going to just jump right into it. This first one is called Violet Cassis. And this is really pretty lavender violet color. Um, the packaging is really cute. It kind of looks like um, with a silver top, maybe ColourPop. And I think Anastasia Liquid Lipsticks has the silver um, the silver top on it too. But the, it's really classy. It looks really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and just wipe off the lipstick that I have on right now. And I'm going to jump right in some swatches right on me. I'm going to dry. And I want to see how opaque these are. I didn't really see any reviews on them yet because they are pretty new, so let's just see how they are. The applicator is a dual fit applicator. It's kind of like pointed. I like it. It's so really cute. Oh wow. These are really, really pigmented. Wow. I didn't think these would be this pigmented, so I didn't bring out my lip liner. I thought it was just going to be like lip glosses, but they're really, really pig. Well, this first one is really pigmented. I don't know if I'll wear this color alone. I would have to like line it with like a magenta or dark brown or something lip liner, but I think it's a nice color. I don't know if it's something for everyday wear, but it's really pretty and summery. And it kind of has a matte, I feel like it's like getting matte. It doesn't say anything about matte. This is just Lux lacquer, but it kind of feel like it's um like thickening up and kind of getting matte on my lips. I won't know until, you know, wearing it for a little while, but I think it's really pretty. And this color is Violet Cassis. So moving on, I'm gonna wipe this off and jump right Sorry, this one is called Red Velvet, and it's like a red, cherry, rich, reddish color. Really pretty. I really like this one. And of course, it has the same packaging as the other one. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this one. I have to say, the pigment on these is amazing. They did not fail when they said highly pigmented because these are very highly pigmented. And this one, again, is red velvet, really rich reddish color. Glossy finish, really pretty. It's thick, the formula is pretty thick. It's not really thin, it doesn't like glide on soupy or thin. It's pretty thick and creamy, just exactly what the description says. It's living up to it. Super hydrating color that glides on ultra creamy with a dazzling finish, it really does. And that's red velvet. Moving on. Just wipe this off. And it's this really pretty dark purplish, maroonish, mauve, burgundy, all those beautiful colors mixed into one in this one too. And I'm gonna just go ahead and put it right on my lips. Really pretty. I really like this one a lot too. 
the pigment is really really nice on these I have to say the pigment is really nice the berry blackberry that's the name a berry purpley color it's really pretty and subtle really really nice color moving on so the next color I'm going to grab is Colombian coffee and this is really pretty nude color I couldn't you know buy any lip colors without buying a few nudes right really pretty nude color I'm almost positive I probably will have to wear this with a lip liner because it looks pretty light um way lighter than it does on the website I must say um but I'm gonna try it on I'm sure it's really pretty so So, really, really pretty. Um, really pretty nude. Kind of pale for my liking. I would definitely wear a brown lip liner with this, but it's really, really pretty color. It's really opaque, super creamy. You know when you rub your lips together and you take some of the color off the top, like with the matte lips, um, matte liquid lipsticks from um, ColourPop and a lot of other um, liquid lipsticks. This one doesn't do that. See? The color stays distributed on the top and the bottom of your lips. Wherever you place the color, it stays. Which is really, really good. I really like these things. These Lux Lacquer Lippies from BH Cosmetics. So, yeah. Let's move on to the next color. Okay, so I'll do this one, which is Sweet Almond. Um, This color is really pretty. It's like a pretty baby pink. Mauve, not too, not too light, not like a baby pink. It's like a more of a mauve um, pink. Let's just see how it looks on the lips. It's coming up on camera really light, like, <laughs> like really light. I don't think it's, it's not as light as it looks. It looks to me like Pink Nouveau from Mac. Um, it's a really, really pretty pink though. If you like pinks, I will put like a brown lip liner on this definitely. Um, popping out. I think that's giving it a pretty Yeah, that, that's definitely pretty 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 But it's pink, pretty pink nonetheless. I like it. Very nice. Moving on. Next one is coconut, and I think this is a nude too. Because I know two of the ones that I ordered were nude. I think this one is a nude, yeah. And it kind of looks like Colombian coffee. Hold on, where's Colombian coffee at? Where's Colombian coffee? This Colombian coffee. This is coconut. They're very similar. Similar. Very, 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 very similar. I'm gonna see how they look. Oh lord, I don't mix them up. I think this one was. They look exactly the same. They look exactly the same. I gotta swatch these in my hand. I need to see what the real difference is. I think um, Colombian coffee might be a little more pale. Yeah, um, coconut has a more of a peachy look to it. I could have did without both of these. Though. So this is coconut. This is Colombian coffee. They look pretty similar. Really, really similar. They look the same color. So if you see this, you don't really need both. I mean, it's up to you. But they look really, really similar. Um, I have to say. Colombian coffee is a little more paler, so I guess probably um, coconut would be better for um, darker skin um, skin tones. But I like both of them. I will wear both of them, and they look really similar. So if you don't want to, you know, go out on and buy both, just get pick one that you like because they look really really similar. So that's Colombian coffee and coconut. So 
So down to the last two. And the last two, this one is Cherry's Jubilee. And I think it's another red, but it might be darker, more of a dark red. Um, oh, it's like a moody red. I like reds like this, I actually do. It's not even really red, it's more, it has like brownish undertone. How is this on? And the consistency is the same. I know with like ColourPop and a lot of the other, um, this has like a reddish orange undertone to it. Definitely not as red as Red Velvet. And this one is Cherry's Jubilee. But it's really pretty. I really like this color. It's probably my favorite color so far. Well, I only got one more to go, but it's probably my favorite color. Cherry's Jubilee. Really pretty. Really, really pretty. Um, and the very last color I have is also a red. Hmm. And this one is called Rose. But let me wipe this off first before I even do that. With um, different um, lip colors or lip glosses or lipsticks, the lighter colors tend to be really um, soupy and not as opaque as the darker ones. I have to say the consistency amongst all of these that I've tried so far, the seven I tried, have been exactly the same. The consistency hasn't changed. They've all been pretty creamy and ultra moisturizing my lips don't really feel dry right now they are probably dry from the trauma of wiping them but they're not like dried out from the lip from the lip product so let's just go ahead and try the last one and this one was called rose and it's not really a red now that i'm looking at it it's like a nude pink and i really like this color it's like mauve i really this is like my go-to color for lips every day so i'm sure i'll probably get a lot of use out of this one really pretty this is probably my favorite one now and this is called rose really pretty color it's like an everyday mauve moody color um this is like the color that i wear every day it looks like the lipstick that i just actually took off which wasn't one of these it was actually um the tartiste um matte lip color i forgot what shade it was but i could put it down below if you really know what shade it was but this one looks just like it it's just glossy but it looks like one of the lip colors that I gravitate to on a daily basis. And these are all with no lip liner and I kind of just, you know, swipe them on. I didn't, I don't think I double dipped into the container anytime. So this is just with one application on the lips. Um, you can load it on as much as you want or you could put less. But to me, this probably would be the perfect amount to have to get the color payoff that you're looking for. So yeah. That's all the colors from the BH Cosmetics Lux Lacquer Vivid Lipsticks. This is the box that they come in. I think it's really cute. Um, I don't think I've ever gotten any lip products from BH Cosmetics, so I'm not sure like how their previous packagings were or anything like that, but I, like, I really like this package. Packaging, the only thing I don't like is the fact that I don't know what colors they are to be able to tell other people um, if I don't have the box because the packaging does not have the color on it or in my mind. I think it does have the color on it. It's really, really teeny tiny though. Any more focus? Okay. Okay. I think I'm wrong. I think the packages do have the color. Hooray. Thank you, BH Cosmetics, for putting the names on the packages. That's awesome, folks. You don't have to hold on to this box if someone asks you, hey, what color is that on your lips? Hey, it's BH Cosmetics. Look at the package, rose, or whatever color it is. So, find something. So that's all the lip colors that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, BHCosmetics.com has these lip colors. I got each. They're actually $14 each, but when I purchased them, I think they were like $7 each. So um, I will go on the website, you know, as soon as possible and see if they, you know, still have all the colors in stock and just grab which ones you want. I paid for these with my own money. Um, I actually saw BH Cosmetics post on their Instagram that they had these new lip colors coming out. And I was like, well, I really want to try those. And I can probably, you know, show my subscribers how they look on brown skin and how they look, how they swatch and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, I think this was, um, I think they're really good. I actually really like them and I plan on, you know, wearing them. So, you know, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.